Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge the uh, Gadigal people who are the traditional owners of the land and I'd also like to pay respect to the elders, both past and present, of the Gadigal nation and extend that respect to other, Ab uh, other Aborigines present. Excuse my notes. I'd also like to extend thanks to Lisa Cotter for looking after everything at the front door and to Lisa Sadler for her very involvement here, but I'm sure we'll hear about that more later. I've been given the very pleasant task of introducing Mr. Graham Mapp. There are a number of sides to this essentially private man, and it's not within my ability to adequately do him justice in a brief introduction here tonight. I'll therefore touch briefly on the things that I know with some certainty and leave the rest for you all to stumble upon. After a successful career in Australia's mining industry, Graham Mapp, in generous support of his family, turned his attention to the film and television production industry and commenced a process of both starting post-production while sim simultaneously embarking on a strategic acquisition process of most of the key post-production houses in the country. Ted Gregory, where are you? Somewhere here. Omnilab Media is now one of the leaders of media and production within the Australian landscape. I'm sorry I haven't got a you know, thing for this one so I could pretend I wasn't ready. The ambition for Omnilab Media was to be a one-stop shop, no matter whether it was for a Toyota TV commercial, whether it was a Happy Feet post-production, whether it was a software development, a broadcast and distribution of content, or releasing the latest Australian film like Brand New Day. Omnilab Media over the years has continued to broaden its base from its initial, its initial foundations and has developed into what is now one of Australia's leading media companies. As you have or will tonight see, it is a multimedia playout and facilities operations second to none in the country. Our, com our company, the Movie Network Channels, was only that foundation client for post-production for the infrastructure and player and together with Omnidab Media we have grown in remarkable proportion. Back then we were just three channels playing up to one carrier and that's when Omnidab took the reins. Today Omnidab broadcasts our seven standard definition channels, our three high definition channels and our three download channels. We're carried on five platforms. Our relationship with Omnilab sees all material transcoded for whatever platform we are dealing with. iTunes, for example, we were the first independent channel with a shop front and Omnilab is driving that engine. Both Graham and his son Christopher, their vision has been to make the Omnilab post-production aspect a major part of their client's business. And in our case, they wholeheartedly supported our ambition to create a virtual joint venture in post-production. This means on-site, and on-site doesn't mean here for us, on-site means on our site. Omnidab gave us the leading broadcast executive in Andrew Hogg to manage every face of our, every facet of our business and every face. <laughs> as well as our own 35 employees, we are also home to seven Omnidab employees. MTV similarly has such an arrangement. I can't speak for MTV, however I can assure you that the concept works for us. Omnilad Media, under Graham's tutelage, has moved into all, face, all facets, faces and facets, it's not working for me, no, <laughs> of the media landscape and touches everything from, concept, from content creation, feature film production, post-production, broadcast, infrastructure, software development, content delivery, as well as distribution and finance. So, the quick chapter two, variety. Sorry, Graham, got to toss that in. In Graham's spare time, he has devoted 30 years of his life to what I call the measurable support of variety. And when I say measurable, I don't mean that his support has been driving a customised EH Holden in a variety batch. 
His measurable support and his involvement has been for both national and international variety, culminating most recently in completing three years as the international president of variety. Graham's life has not been without pain and personal sorrow. However, on his arm is his lovely wife Sue. <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> it's Sue. Uh, Sue, for many years, the Victorian chapter of variety, so it was natural that they should meet. And now look at them. Well, that's all that good. Nearly done, folks. Just, just stay with me on this. And no talk of Graham can avoid another of his consuming passions. His thoroughness, his thoroughbred, his thoroughness, and his thoroughbred horse, horse stud, Hobart Bill. It's out in Richmond, and it first came to my attention in 2002. We were in discussion with Christopher at the time to move our business in Normandy there, when I read that on one Saturday, Graham had led, had led in the winners of the first three races at Rose Hill. Force Apollo, Zoltris and Pompeii. Given the pain that always goes with television production, I felt that the racing and the start would provide plenty of alternatives to keep the chairman busy in that business. <laughs> he has a fabulous list of successful horses over many years. And I have to say that my anticipation was very wrong. It has not kept him away from running that office. Graham's, Graham's children are here, as well as Christopher Penny is here. And one last point I'd like to make is this. The opening of this amazing facility has been a little delayed. I don't know if you all know. I suspect, no, actually, I don't suspect I know, that the new movie channels we launched two weeks ago were placed in front of the celebrations of tonight. That decision is typical of a man with quiet achievements and outstanding track record of nothing less than success as a minimum standard. So it is with my pleasure to introduce the man I'm proud to call both a colleague and a friend, Mr. Graham Mack.